All right, in this video, we are going to be solving another question on equation of circles, possible question to be precise. And this question is from May 2020, paper one, variant three. Okay, so let's get straight to it. So it says here the coordinates of the two points A and B are minus seven, three, and show that, and B511, show that the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB is 3x plus 2y equals to 11. All right, so equation of perpendicular bisector. Now, in the first video, when I was uh, just skimming through some, uh, so we were just revising coordinate geometry, I told you guys a few important things to go over. I mentioned that I'm going to share a screenshot of, uh, share in fact, all the screenshots of the notes that I've made on my Instagram. So I'll leave a link to it where you can see the step-by-step -step procedure for finding the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Although it's very simple, I'll explain it here also, but if you want something in written, you can uh, check it out. So first thing we need is the gradient. So the gradient of AB can be worked out by using the gradient formula. So 11 minus three over five minus minus seven. So 11 minus three is eight. Five minus minus seven will be five plus seven, which is eventually going to be 12. So we're looking at 2.3. Gradient of the perpendicular bisector, however, is going to be the negative reciprocal, so that means minus 3.2. So now that we have the gradient, we need the point, and perpendicular bisector means that it's going to be passing through the midpoint. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to find out the midpoint, so minus 7 plus 5 upon 2, comma 3 plus 11 upon 2. So minus 7 plus 5 is minus 2, minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1, 3 plus 11 is 14, 14 upon 2 is 7, so now we have the point sorted out. Now it's just a matter of plugging it in in the equation, which is y minus y1 equals to m, which is minus 3 upon 2, x minus minus 1, which will eventually become plus, so I'll just write it as plus. So now we're looking at 2y minus 14 equals to minus 3x minus 3. Let's bring everything, actually no, let's just bring x 3x over to the left-hand side, so it becomes positive, and minus 14 over to the other side, so that's minus 3 plus 14, so that means positive 11. Let's see. Yep, let's just write it the way the question wanted us to. That means first the x, so we have 3x plus 2y equals to 11. And let me just highlight this. And this is our final answer. There you go. All right, so that was part A. Let's do part B. So part B says a circle passes through A and B. Okay, so let me just rewrite A. So A was what? Let me see. Uh, minus 7, 3 and 5, 11. Okay, so minus 7, 3 and B is 5, 11. And its center lies on the line 12x minus 5y equals to 70. Find an equation of the circle. So this is worth 5 marks. Okay, now, instead of just memorizing what to do over here, it's, it's best to kind of visualize and see what exactly do we need in order to find the equation of the circle. So we have a circle which is passing through a and b so that minus 7 3 means it's going to be somewhere over here and 5 11 means that it's going to be somewhere over here okay so a circle passes through these two points okay and its center lies on the line 12x minus 5y equals to 70 so what i'm going to do is i'm quickly going to make y the subject just so that i know what the gradient of the line is and what the y intercept is so i can make a rough sketch so if i do that uh, that means in fact let's take 5y over to the other side so we're looking at 12x minus 70 equals to 5y so let's write it nicely 5y equals to 12x minus 70 which means y is equals to 12 upon 5x minus 70 upon 5 which is what 14 yeah that's what it is let me just double check my two maths has not been really that strong yeah so 14 it is okay so what that basically means is here's what this means let me just draw the circle first so we're talking about a circle which passes through these two points okay so that means if i were to join these two points i would definitely get a chord so let's do just that let's join these two points and make a chord out of it there you go okay and here's the interesting part the center of the circle lies on this line which is 12x minus 5y equals to 70 so that means this is basically a positive sloping line which i'm going to draw in red and the center of the circle lies somewhere on this straight line, okay? Now, how does that help? How exactly is that going to help us find out the equation of the circle? So let's say this is the center, okay? Again, it's not drawn to scale. Don't focus, don't waste too much, too much of your time working on the aesthetics part. Just try and, you know, uh, understand what 
the, the important concept here is what the underlying concept here is and you know that that should be it so we're talking about a circle that is passing through these two points and has center on this line okay so if you remember at the very beginning i told you guys that when you have a chord and if you make a perpendicular line to it which is passing through the center which means the perpendicular bisector of the chord a b will guaranteed pass through the center of the circle so this line and you can probably see where i'm going with this so this this green line that i'm making here is perpendicular bisector of the chord a b okay this this line that you're looking at this green line is basically the perpendicular bisector of the chord a b and we already have the equation to it okay so notice uh, see where i'm going with this so we already have the equation of the perpendicular bisector of a b so i'll just label it in fact i wish i had color coded it anyway it's not too late for that uh let me turn this to red because we did all the working in red and let me turn this in black yeah okay so the equation of the perpendicular bisector was 3x plus 2y equals to 11. So I'll just write that down over here. 3x plus 2y equals to 11. This is the equation of this line. Okay. 3x plus 2y equals to 11. And the equation of this line on which the center of the circle is lying is already given to us. It's 12x minus 5y equals to 70. That means the center is basically the point where these two lines intersect. And what that basically means is I just need to solve them simultaneously and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to solve them simultaneously. So what method should I use? Okay, so now I'm just going to switch to one single color and that's blue. I think I'm going to go with elimination. So 3x plus 2y equals 11. By the way, I should point out that you can always use your calculator to check your answer. In fact, I do intend to do that. But first, let me show the examiner that I'm a good student and um, actually, I mean, this is from your perspective you need to show the examiner that you used uh, the way that you're supposed to solve the simultaneous equation which is without a calculator uh, by elimination or substitution so anyway so i'm going to multiply the first equation by five and the second equation by two so that i can eliminate y so if i multiply the first equation by five i'm looking at 15x plus 10y equals to 55 and uh, as far as the second equation goes, I'm looking at 24x minus 10y equals to 140. Okay, then, so the y's get eliminated. 24 plus 15 is 39. So 39x is equals to 140 plus 55, which is 195. Okay, then, so 195 divided by 35, please be a whole number. Okay, thank God. So x equals to 5. All right, so now that you have the value of x, you just need to plug in, in any one of the two equations. So I'm just going to plug it in the first equation. So 3x, so that means 3 times 5 plus 2y equals to 11. So 15 plus 2y equals to 11. That means 2y is equals to minus 4, which means y is equals to minus 2. Okay. So now that we have the center, which is 5 comma minus 2. So I'll just write C here. And let's bring any of the uh, points A and B. I'm going to use A, which is minus 7 and 3, to find the radius. So R squared is equal to minus 7 minus 5 the whole thing squared and again i always make this mistake there's no need to write the square root plus 3 minus minus 2 the whole thing squared okay so r squared equals to 7 min minus 7 minus 5 is 12 so 144 plus 25 is 169 but again just to be sure 12 squared plus 5 squared is 169 yep r squared equals to 169 so now we have the radius and we have the center so let's just put everything together and get the equation of the circle so x minus 5 the whole thing squared plus y minus minus 2 the whole thing squared equals to 169 let's write this nicely x minus 5 the whole thing squared plus y plus 2 the whole thing squared equals to 169 and there you go that's your final answer just to be sure i mean just to, to make sure that it stands out i'll highlight it for you and there you go. That brings me to the end of the question. Yes. And in the next video, I'll solve another question for you guys. So anyway, uh, that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.